Good morning, everybody. Let's play some more Banished. Uh, we are loading in now. And I think we might be paused. Yes, we are. I think I paused this right before uh, ending. Um, so we are getting established over in our new area. And we will be tearing down this area shortly. Uh, we might be changing where the stockpile is. I'm not sure. But uh, we will go ahead and push play. Not sure what I told everyone to do. Looks like they're gathering stone in this area, and our blacksmith is working away, which is great. We need him to work away. <laughs> Keep us supplied with tools, and we'll do this kind of a slow and steady type of thing. And uh, we're doing good. Uh, we got our start off, which is normally the hardest part, in my opinion, is to get the start going. But we got the start done. So now, we need to establish ourselves. Really, we're just going to go ahead and gather everything here. Gather everything around this area. Not there. Okay. Gather all that. Clear it out nice and good. Uh, we'll clear out all of this as well, because we're not going to want anything back there. Uh, that will give our five laborers something to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and allow this building to be built so that we can uh, possibly, if it's a new couple that moves in there, um, we'll be able to get it done. So far, our vendor is bringing everything over here for us. We got our food and everything, which is good. Uh, once we move our people away from over here and over into this area, it'll be better. Um, but we're not, uh, it's not too terribly concerning yet. I want to move them over sooner than later, but uh, slow and steady does it. Everyone's bringing all the stuff over. We got lots of stone to use on this. Um, and so depending on who moves in here will depend on what we do. We will see. Just need some iron brought over. I know our people, like all, lot, I think a lot of our ironers over here. But we'll, we'll be getting a good amount of iron here. So here it is, ready to be built. We'll see who moves into it. Um, see if we demolish another house or not. Okay, so young people built moved in. Uh, so we'll allow the next one to be built. Um, and we have... Young couples and families living here. Um, we have two boys, um, but no girls to start up more families. Um, yep, two boys but no girls, so uh, we might be moving a family or two over here. Looks like we need six houses though total, so we'll keep that in mind as we are building. And they are deforesting this area, cutting everything down. It's great. Okay, so single person moved here. That's okay. Uh, we're going to kick the people out of this one here. We're going to deconstruct it. And we'll line up the other houses here. Early summer, we should be able to. Okay, I'm not gonna put one here. Should be able to kick everyone out of these and uh, build the other ones. There we go. And we're gonna put priority on these. I'm gonna unpause this one as well. So we'll get these houses built up, we'll move everyone over into our new area. It is just early summer right now, well, summer time itself. But we should have the resources to get the houses up and running. Uh, we should have more stone and stuff over here. And they are taking down those other houses and giving us our resources back. So that's good. 
And we will have everyone over in a centralized area, which is what I want. We have 15 people that need houses, that's okay. Uh, we'll also need to move the woodcutter over as well. But we won't be too concerned with it yet. So, I mean, I'm not not so concerned with it that I feel like we need to hurry and move it over immediately. But we will move it over shortly. Supplies of stone are getting low, but uh, we should have stone over here. And we have all these houses that need to be taken down. Yep, just told me my stone is low. <laughs> I am aware. Okay, we have this 16 year old living alone. So we're gonna kick him out real quick and hope a family moves in instead. Oops. And. No, he moved right back in. So, that's annoying. We should be able to get our houses back up and running. You'd think that whoever was the, uh, the family with the most need would have gone in there first, but apparently not. Okay, a little low on stone. Do we not have any left? These houses haven't been demolished yet because... Okay, so we just have three without houses. We're hitting late autumn. So if we can get a house done, preferably this one here, we'll be okay. And bringing over lots of stone, good. Builders are deconstructing houses over here, which lends us to have plenty of stuff to hopefully finish this house. Just five more stone and they'll build it up. Um, because we're in a more mild climate, they are not freezing to death already. More laborers have come of age, which is great. So let's get this house built up, builders. Good, there they are. Always a little nervous when winter hits. Apparently, the mild climate isn't making it super cold. So these three people with house houses should be going into this house now. Yep, there they go. Excellent. So everyone has a house. And we'll have another house for somebody. I don't know who. Stone is low. I know. I'm well aware of stone being low. <laughs> it's okay. Not that big of a deal. Gather up all this stuff here, all the iron. Uh, we'll need to gather up stone. I'm going to designate a little bit of stone gathering here and prioritize it. Because we do need to get the stone gathered up. We don't have any. Um, our builders also need to finish demolishing this house. And then we'll just need to move the woodcutter over. And the logs over. Um, that will make it nice and easy. Let's find a place for the woodcutter. Uh, where should he be? We want him somewhere close to a stockpile that will have wood. So let's put him... Um, let's see. The road is going to come through this way, so... He could actually, uh, he could actually go right here pretty easily. But I want to build a house there, so... Put him like that. Let's lay down some roads here real quick. First, just some roads around there, and then of course... Some roads coming down. Roads going over. There we go. Just some uh, minor roads going. And uh, we have our uh, people. So hopefully want some girls. Yep, there we go. Eliza. 
We had, uh, apparently Eliza likes, uh, Zucker, Zacharyan better than she liked, uh, the other guy. A little closer to her age, so I'm sure that's why. Uh, but... <laughs> Good. Our population is growing. Um, we need to uh, probably put a couple more people in food gathering duties. There we go. Uh, we just had a whole bunch of people put food into their houses, so while our food looks low, it's really not that low. Excellent. Once this wood chopper gets set up, we will move the stockpile. We'll set up the stockpile now. Stockpile. To be here. Yep, we'll set up the stockpile there. We're just going around gathering everything. I'm okay with them cleansing this area before we move on. Things keep growing. Get rid of them. This area needs to be nice and clean so that when we come down into this area, it'll be good to go. Excellent. So everything's going pretty well here. Um, I am going to designate the gathering of the stone in these areas that I know are here. Because we want to get rid of any obstacles, any obstructions in this area so that we can just keep the logs building and growing. Get those trees growing. Excellent. This area is almost cleaned out. Our eight laborers are going strong. Our food has jumped up a lot since we gathered up a whole bunch of other people to be put into the food gathering industry. We just put two more in, but it was enough. And excellent. This area is now clear and ready for building. And the woodcutter is getting set up. So what we're going to do is we will, as soon as that is done, get rid of this. Get rid of both of those. Yeah, our woodcutter doesn't know what he's doing now, but uh, he'll have a job soon enough. There he goes. Now he'll have a job. Uh, we got our tools maximized, so I think I'm going to increase tools to 150. Get a nine, oh, not 150. Let's just do 100. There we go. That's better. 100 tools. I'm okay with 100 tools. 150 seems like a little much. Um, and we will designate a little bit more roads here. We have this here for a reason. There we go. Um, and we probably have a decent amount of leather. Uh, 24 leather. We might consider getting some leather things going. But let's check to see if we need to expand yet. Okay, we got a couple of people that we could house out. So we are going to go ahead and put another house here. There we go. That way we have our population growing. Excellent, they're taking that away, and we are also going to remove that. Get everything out of this area so that they can just grow and be good. We're going to go ahead and maximize our gatherers. Because we want to get that food up, because our food dropped down to 400 again. It was over 1,000, now it's down to 400 again. Uh, we'll maximize our gatherers there. Get that stuff out of the way, and consider opening up our next area for gathering. Uh, we'll see. We got our food coming in nicely, so that is great. A lot of raw resources around, so I'm not concerned with resources right now. So we won't need to worry about a quarry or anything like that for a little bit. And our market should be bringing everything. I think we might need uh, to bring another market person on board. Firewood is low. It's because he wasn't cutting firewood for a little bit. Plus they probably all just went ahead and they're moving the firewood that was stored over there. Over here, I'm sure. Yep. 
18 firewood. 31 firewood. Going good. We'll move everything out of the way over here so they can go ahead and build. Excellent. The trees. Uh, we're going to put another forester on duty. And our laborers, I don't think, have much to do. So we're going to designate some work. We're going to grab the iron here. And because we're going to be moving down in this area next, uh, we'll start designating the gathering of stone. And then the designating of the iron. Um, because we're going to go ahead and build our forester's lodge here first. Before we build anything else. And that way we can get the trees growing. There we go. That might be a little much... Um, but we'll just have our people gather it all up, get it all out, yep, and it'll be ready to go. Okay, food-wise we're doing pretty good now that we maximized our gatherers. And they are now already reclaiming this area with trees, which is great. Keeping it nice and forested in this area. And our gatherers are just going ahead, gathering resources. That's all we need. We don't want to really build much more. Um, we don't want to expand too quickly is the issue. Um, we could have another house go up, but we don't need another house going up. So if you don't need it, don't just blindly do it, you know? Um, we got a lot of tools. Wow, we went from 100 down to 87. <laughs> Everyone must have run out of tools really quickly. That's okay. Where's this guy storing the tools? Does he have to go all the way over to here to store the tools? Um, he does. So, we will give him a place to put tools. That he doesn't have to go so far away for. Just put it right here. Um, we're leaving this space open right here for either a tailor or another blacksmith when we need it. Okay, excellent. Our seven professors, people. It says our food is low. I don't really think it's all that low. Um, they're bringing in food quickly. I think it's just that uh, they keep uh, bringing the food into their houses. They got lots of food. So they should be pretty good. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> Keep telling me my food is low. I'll, I'll beat you. Um, but we're clearing this area in preparation of our next build for food. And uh, look at that. We already have uh, over 25 people. We started with like 12. Oh my gosh, a tornado? Seriously? Where's it at? Let's find the tornado. I don't hear it. Where are you at, tornado? Um, we're on a big map. I don't... Maybe the tornado's gone. It was just a quick one. We didn't lose anybody. Um, our firewood went low because everyone went and grabbed firewood. It's okay. Our firewood or cutter. Probably want to raise our limits. Go to 300 on it. This area is getting cleared out of everything, which is great. Getting a lot of raw resources. Wonderful. Now, we may, like, we're in a mild climate. The people aren't really getting cold at all. Like, I haven't seen any cold icons. So clothes is really only needed for the cold. So we may not need, I mean, we may not need to get clothes. <laughs> Sounds weird, I know. But we may not need it. 
Um, so, we'll see. I don't know. I haven't quite decided. Our woodcutter's getting our wood back up and running. Well, uh, our laborers should be clearing out. Yep, here they are. Still clearing out lots of good stuff. Excellent. And we are low on food, it says. How much have these guys been gathering for us? Uh, about 800 venison. Good. And uh, quite a quite a bit of, of the rest of it. Uh, now that the stone and everything is out of the way, it should even be producing more. Which is great. So, that's wonderful. We're doing good. Everything is getting cleared. There's a little bit of iron right here. Didn't, don't know if I designated that or not. I did not. We'll clear it. Okay. We need to keep clearing this area and get our Forester's Lodge up and running. Uh, we want to make it to where we don't overlap too much as far as the gathering areas. Because we even have this area down here that can be a gathering area. And down here, like there's a, there's a lot of good gathering areas. So this is good for us. Um, we also have the lake down here, so we might want to start uh, thinking about trying to move that way for fish. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, uh, we have enough food. Well, I say that, and our food seems to be dwindling. Um, we got this up and running. There we go. Storage barn. Good. <laughs> oh, man. We... We're doing okay. Our food keeps going up and down, up and down, because they keep putting all of it in their houses. So, we need to now reach out, because we've got enough laborers, we're going to start building our next area. Now we're going to build it right here. Yep, we know. Food is low. We're going to do it about like that, I think. And we will put down our gatherers. Okay. Looks good there. Try to put it in a place where get the maximum range of the. There we go. That looks good. So we'll get our next area online for food. We we'll also need a storage barn here. There we go. That should leave room for a road down the middle. I did it right. Looks like I did. Excellent. So clear this area, get this built up, and uh, take care of the food shortage that we've been having. And uh, we'll be good. These people will build up the things. So we're going to start uh, allowing them to cut as well here because uh, we needed them to grow first so that we can get all the herbs and everything. We'll allow two people there to cut. Um, and we only, la we only want two people doing it. Once this gets finished building, we'll also have two people. Foresters. There we go. We will not be cutting to start. Just two. Oh, this is the one I wanted. There. <laughs> uh, more people growing to be laborers, which is good. We want them to start hunting and gathering for us. And our builders are busy doing stuff. Great. Foresters are starting the, uh, the growth here. I think these guys finished clearing out everything. 
Let's make sure there's nothing left here. Nope. All right, they did good. Okay, we got our hunters up. And our gatherers are almost up. And then, yeah, we will have more food pouring in, which is great. We have more people coming. I mean, we want more kids, but we need more food first. Uh, people, we definitely could expand, or we can have fill up another house or two. Uh, but we need to get food first. All right. So our gathering efforts should be good. Food's a little on the slim side right now, but that's okay. We will we'll be okay. We're not going to die. At least not yet. Just scoping out more places that uh, we'll be potentially expanding to. It's just seems like so much raw resources here. Um, <laughs> it's because uh, I'm not used to so many resources. Uh, let's finish up this storage barn so that our people... There we go. ...can be able... ...to get those resources. Uh, we're gonna gather the trees around here. Cut down all these trees, because we're running a little low on logs. Also designate another stockpile here. that and then we'll probably take down this other stockpile that way they look uniform uh, food is going up already gathering a good amount of food for us trees all chopped down and then we will get roads over to our areas that way they'll travel faster back and forth I mean we have the stone we could just go ahead and make stone roads and just when we expand roads we expand stone roads because we want them to go fast as fast as possible back and forth uh, we might do that we'll see Probably should have just done a blanket gather here because of all this food stuff. There we go. Okay, more people are growing into adults and becoming laborers. Um, our food is still dwindling. Not dwindling, I mean, we have enough for the population we have. We're just getting more and more things online for us to have gotten more food. Uh, we'll probably clear this area out and consider getting it online here pretty soon. Um, but we want to get this stockpile finished first. There we go. Lots of people growing up to be adults and laborers. Um, it happens. <laughs> Excellent. The stockpile is set up. So I'm going to remove that stockpile, which makes it look like we don't have a lot of stuff. But we have a lot more than we than it looks like. So that area is nice and clear. So we can build houses back there if necessary. We don't need to yet, so not too concerned. Excellent. Watching the mission move all the stuff over to the new stockpile. And good. Uh, let's build some stone roads. So we're going to start here. We're going to move over to this area here. There we go. That way they will be able to travel quickly to and from their work. While we're at it, we'll just go ahead and... Oops. Get the stone roads here going. 
And here, we're just we're just going all stone. We want speed and precision. I don't know about precision, but we want speed. We want them to follow these roads and get to and from work as fast as possible. So we're going to do the same thing here. There we go. To and from work as fast as possible. They'll follow the road, hopefully. Tool-wise, we're looking good. There we go. Now our food is jamming. We got our food up and going. These areas will be growing back their trees. And we should be able to have fast traveling between everything now. Health is doing okay. Happiness is actually rather high, which is nice. We're keeping our tools up, which is great. We need to consider expanding even more food. This area... You know, we're going to put another vendor here. Try to uh, keep gathering everything from our areas and storing it where it should be. Here we're putting our iron tools. Good. We still have a lot of iron tools left over there, but that's okay. I don't think these uh, stone roads are done, or are they? I can't tell. I don't think they are. They're the shadow? They're not done yet. Another builder on the job. I want these stone roads done. We got plenty of stone. I don't know why they're not doing it. Um, but there we go. Established part number two. Um, here will be where we establish a number three. And then number four, up in this area, or up in this area, one of the two. Lots of area, lots of nice flat area that we'll, we'll be able to expand to. Um, I hear the roads being done, which is great. Get people going nice and fast. Okay. Now that there's no um, rain, no rain, no snow. I can definitely tell that which parts of the stone has been done. And we can see these people are moving back and forth between their area nicely. Uh, we're going to up our log limit up to 300. Uh, we're okay with them chopping down a little bit of the forest here because um, it will keep us going good. want them to keep going with these stone roads and possibly even finish them up. And then we'll probably wrap up the episode there. So far we've started out pretty nicely. Hoping once this stone road is done they will follow it rather than go cross country. Um, but we'll probably be building some houses and such down here closer to where they won't really be able to go cross country as much anyway. We'll force them to do it the way we want them to do it. No more cross-country. We go along roads. There we go. Let's get these roads going. Figure for us it's essential to make sure that the roads get done and that they are traveling as fast as possible. Because we need the food. We're already at 300 uh, logs. Well, that was quick. Um, let's keep the logs going up. And let's keep our fuel limit going up. I'm okay with them chopping more. And we'll start, we'll at least designate the gathering of everything offensive in this area. All the stone. And all the iron. Because our, our people aren't doing anything else, so we're going to go ahead and get them started. Clearing out this area. That way the trees will naturally grow as well. Because all this stuff will be out of the way. And excellent. Looks like everyone should be using the road now. They are. It's much faster. Everyone's happy with it. Excellent. We're going to 
go ahead and unpause the building of this here so that we can get it all running smoothly. Alright, I said once those roads were done, we were going to go ahead and end it, so I will keep that word there. Uh, we've established our second hub, the trees are growing great, everything is cleared out, um, and food has been skyrocketing since we established a second hub. Um, so we will be able to expand our population, which will be great. But that won't be till next time. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.